Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about triangle. Triangle is a very well known figure to all of you, right? It has three sides, three angles. It's a two-dimensional geometrical figure. We all know this. We know sum of three angles of a triangle is always 180 degree, whatever be the shape or size of it, isn't it? Also, we know about the classifications, types of different triangles. And we know that according to the measurement of sides or according to the measurements of angles, triangles can be classified into various types. Sometimes it is called equilateral triangle if all three sides of it are equal. If any two sides are supposed to be equal, then it's called isosceles triangle. If the sides are unequal in measurement, then it is called a scalene triangle. And also there are several other types of triangles, right? Now you also know that if in a triangle two sides are equal, in a triangle, if two sides are equal, then the angles opposite to those equal sides are also equal, right? But today I will discuss that what will happen if the sides of the triangles are unequal? Like if you choose any two out of the three sides and you find that measurements of them are unequal, then what will happen? What will be the relation between the angles opposite to them? This is the topic of discussion in today's class. Okay, that is today we are going to discuss about inequalities in a triangle. So let's start the discussion. So our today's topic of discussion is inequalities in a triangle. As we know that if two sides of a triangle, suppose I am taking a triangle, triangle ABC, and I am telling you that two sides out of the three sides of it are equal in measurements. Suppose I am telling you AB equals to AC. Then we know that the angles opposite to these equal sides are also equal in measurements. So here AB, this is the side. What is the angle opposite to it? This one, angle ACB. And this is side AC. What is the angle opposite to it? This one, opposite to AC is this one, means angle ABC. What is the relation between them? Angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Now, if the sides are not equal in measurements, suppose I am considering triangle PQR. PQR. And here we find that measurement of side PR is greater than the measure measurement of side PQ, right? That is PR is greater than PQ. Now, what will be the relation between the angles opposite to them? We know angle PQR means this one is the angle which is opposite to PR, right? And angle PRQ means this one is the angle opposite to PQ, okay? Make sure students, in this case, when PR is greater than PQ, then we will find that angle PQR means this one will be greater than angle PRQ. So what is the relation? Angle PQR means this one is greater than angle PRQ. That means the angle opposite to the greater side, the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side. Clear? So here we get if two sides of a triangle are unequal, then the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side. 
So this is the relation between the angles which are opposite to the unequal sides in a triangle. Now let's try to prove this statement that if two sides of a triangle are unequal then actually the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side. Let's try to prove it logically. Suppose I'm considering a triangle ABC. This is a triangle. Triangle ABC. Let ABC is a triangle. In which measurement of AC is greater than measurement of AB. Okay. It is considered. Now we have to show that the angle opposite to the greater side. Which one? This one, right? Is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side. Means which one? This one. Because this is the smaller side. Okay. AB is smaller in measurement in comparison to AC. So we have to show that angle ABC is greater than angle ACB. So required to show that angle ABC is greater than angle ACB. Let's try to prove it. So for this for proving this statement, we need to make some construction, additional construction. What construction should we do? Should we make from this line segment AC, from this side AC, I am cutting off a portion AB such that measurement of AB is equals to measurement of AD. So what is the construction, additional construction what I am making that is from AC a portion AD is cutting off such that measurement of AB is equals to measurement of AD. And then I am joining B with D. So what is the construction? From AC a portion AD or a line segment AD is cut off, better to say segment, segment AD is cut off so that measurement of AB is equals to measurement of AD. AB equals to AD. B and D are joined. Okay, so this is the construction. Why we have done, we have chosen this construction? Because we know the property or we know the relation between the angles which are opposite to the equal sides. Now, we want to use that particular knowledge for proving this relation between the angles which are opposite to the unequal sides in a triangle, right? So now let's try to prove it. Look students. In triangle ABD, this one, this triangle, we find that AB is equal to AD, right? In triangle ABD, we find that AB equals to AD by construction. By construction, okay? And as these two sides are equal, then what will happen? Obviously, the angles opposite to them will be equal in measurements. So, angle ABD is equal to angle ADB. As they are opposite angles to the equal sides. To the equal sides. Okay. So, let's take this relation as relation number 1. Now, let's consider this triangle. This triangle means triangle BDC. Now, if you consider all three angles of this triangle BDC, 
you will find that this particular angle means angle ADB is the exterior angle to the interior angles of triangle DBC, isn't it? So we can see that this particular angle, I am marking this angle by some other ink. This particular angle is the exterior angle, right? With respect to this triangle, triangle DBC. And these two angles means angle DCB and DBC of triangle DBC are interior opposite angles to it. So what are the relation between them? We all know this. That exterior angle is equal to the summation of the interior opposite angles. Right? So here we get, in one of my videos, I will also show this, that exterior angle of a triangle is always equal to the summation of the interior opposite angles of it. Make sure of this. So here we get angle ADB is equal to angle DCB plus angle DBC. Right? Because we know that exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. Right? So now, if you see this relation, you will find that angle ADB is equal to angle DCB plus angle DBC. So, this summation is equal to angle ADB. So, obviously, from this relation, we can say that angle ADB is greater than angle DCB. Isn't it? Because when some other angle is getting added to DCB, then it is getting equal to ADB. So, obviously, ADB is greater than the measurement of angle DCB. So, let's write it down. So, angle ADB is greater than angle DCB. DCB. Now DCB and ACB, they are the same angles, right? So we can say angle ADB is greater than angle ACB. So this is another relation what we have got here. That is angle ADB is greater than angle ACB. If you see this portion, this one, you will find here two angles are made. That is one is angle ABD. Another one is angle ABC, right? So, if you consider the measurements of these two angles, we will find from this figure that measurement of angle ABD is smaller than the measurement of angle ABC, right? By this construction, we get it. So, here we get, again, we get angle ABD is less than in measurement angle ABC. Right? Now look students, from this relation 1, we get that ABD is equals to ADB. Right? So can't we write in the place of ABD angle ADB? Yes, we can write. Okay? So here from 1, from relation 1, we get Angle ADB is less than angle ABC. Now let's name this relation as relation number 3. So here we get from 2 and 3. From 2 we get angle ADB is greater than angle ACB. And from 3 we get angle ADB is less than angle ABC. So if you consider these two relations, that is relation number 2 and relation number 3, you can write that angle ACB is less than angle ADB is less than angle ABC, right? Because from 2 you get that angle ADB is greater than ACB. That is another word. Angle ACB is less than angle ADB. And from relation 3 you get angle ADB is less than ABC. So combining this 2 and 3 you can write this inequality, okay? So, from this inequality, can't we derive that angle ACB is less than angle ABC? That is, in other words, angle ABC 
is greater than angle ACB? Yes, we can say. And this is the thing what we are trying to prove that angle ABC is greater than angle ACB. So here the statement that if two and sides of a triangle are unequal in measurements, then the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side. So we have seen that if two sides of a triangle are unequal in measurements, then the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side, right? Now what will happen if we find that two angles of a triangle are unequal. Suppose in triangle XYZ we get that angle XYZ is greater than angle XZY. Two angles are unequal in measurements. Now the same thing will happen. That is, it is the converse statement of the previous statement. That is, if two angles of a triangle are unequal in measurements, then the sides opposite to the greater angle is greater than the side opposite to the smaller angle. Now, here we find XYZ is greater than XZY. XYZ means which one? This one, right? Is greater than XZY means greater than this angle, okay? So, here as I have already told you that the side opposite to the bigger angle is bigger than the side opposite to the smaller angle. So what is the side opposite to XYZ? This one. That means XZ, XZ is bigger than the side opposite to the smaller angle. Means what is the smaller angle? XZY and what is the side opposite to it? This one, right? So XZ will be, will be bigger than XY. So this will happen if we find that between two angles, one is bigger, another one is smaller, then the side opposite to the bigger angle will be bigger, will be lengthier in measurement in comparison to the side opposite to the smaller angle. Now let's try to prove this statement logically that if two angles of a triangle are unequal, then the greater angle has longer side opposite to it. That is the converse of the previous statement, right? So let's try to show this logically. Suppose I am considering a triangle ABC, okay, and here I have told you that two angles of this triangle are unequal in measurement. That is here angle ABC is greater than angle ACB. As you can see this, ABC is greater than angle ACB. So required to show as per this statement, that is, if we want to prove this statement, that we have to show them the sides opposite to, the side opposite to the bigger angle is bigger than the side opposite to the smaller angle, right? That is AC because ABC is the bigger angle as per our consideration. So what is the side opposite to it? AC. So AC is bigger than, is greater than angle what is the side opposite to the smaller angle that is angle ACB? This one, right? So AC is bigger than side AB, right? So this is to be proved that is AC is greater than AB. So let's try to show this. Here, I am first considering that AC is not greater than AB. So let AC is not greater than AB. I am considering this. Okay, so what will happen if AC is not greater than AB, then obviously either AC is equal to AB or AC is less than AB. Okay, so, so here we get AC is equal to AB or AC is less than AB. Now let's consider this chance is one by one. Case one. Suppose I am considering the first relation that is AC equals to AB. So AC equals to AB. Look students, I am considering AC equals to AB. Means this side is equal to this side in measurement. Then what will happen? We know 
that if AC is equal to AB, then the angles opposite to them are also equal. So what would be the other conclusion in this case? So angle ABC is equal to angle ACB in that case. But is it given in the question? No. In the question it is given that the angles are unequal in measurements. So angle ABC is greater than angle ACB as per statement. So we can write here but ABC is greater than ACB. So what is the conclusion here? Our assumption was completely contradicted. So it is a contradiction. Right? So we can't take that AC is equal to AB. Now let's consider the second case where we have assumed that AC is less than AB. Let's see what happens. AC less than AB. Now from the previous statement we know that the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side. Right? So if AC is less than AB then what will happen? The angle opposite to AB is greater than the angle opposite to AC. So what is the angle opposite to AB? Opposite to AB. Opposite to AB means angle ACB is greater than the angle opposite to AC. What is the angle opposite to AC? Yes, this one. Angle ABC. But look students, here it was given in this uh, statement that angle ABC is greater than angle ACB. But here we have got from this assumption that angle ABC is less than angle ACB. Or in other words, angle ACB is greater than angle ABC. Right? So obviously it is another contradiction. So we can write it as ABC should be greater than angle ACB. So it is a contradiction. So these two assumptions are leading us to the contradiction. So what will be our conclusion? If the assumptions are wrong, then obviously the first thing what we had assumed that AC is not greater than AB is also wrong. So here we get AC is greater than AB. This is the right relation, correct relation between the sides AC and AB. So what is established here? The statement is established that if two angles of a triangle are unequal in measurements, then the greater angle has longer side opposite to it. That is, the angle, if the angles are unequal in measurements, then the side opposite to the greater angle is greater than the side opposite to the smaller angle. So we have seen that if two sides of a triangle are unequal in measurements, then the angles opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side and the converse statement is also true. Okay. Now make sure students, this particular relation can be applied for solving several problems as well as for proving several statements. Let's try to prove this fact that in a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is the longest side. This statement can also be proved from this knowledge. Let's first consider a right angle triangle. Here ABC is the right angle triangle. Triangle ABC is a right angled triangle where angle ABC, this one, is considered to be 90 degree. So what we have to show here, we have to show that the hypotenuse is the longest side. So required to show that hypotenuse here in this figure it is AC is the longest side. 
So how will you prove this statement students? Just think over it. Pause the video and think over it. Yes, I hope you all have understood that here we can get we get that in triangle ABC angle B is 90 degree, right? Here angle B is 90 degree in measurement, okay? So obviously as the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree, then if one angle is measured 90 degree, then the other angles should be less than 90 degree. That means they are acute angles. Therefore, angle BAC and angle ACB are acute angles. Otherwise, the summation of three angles equal to, is equal to 180 degree will be hampered, right? So, these two angles must be acute angles. And as they are acute angles, so each of them should be less than 90 degree. Therefore, we can write that angle BAC is less than angle ABC. Okay. This one, this angle is obviously less than this one. Therefore, if this angle is less than this angle, just think over it students. This angle is less than this angle. Then what will happen? The side opposite to the lesser angle will be lesser than the side opposite to the bigger angle. That is in other words we can say the side opposite to the bigger angle is bigger than the side opposite to the smaller angle. So can't we say that this side means BC is less than AC? Yes, we can say, right? Because we have proved the statements. We Now we know the statements. Therefore, side AC is greater than the side BC. What is the reason behind it? The, thing, the same thing. That is the side opposite to the bigger angle is bigger than the side opposite to the smaller angle. Similarly, we can say that as angle ACB is less than angle ABC, so ACB, we are considering this angle. So obviously the side opposite to ACB is lesser than the side opposite to angle ABC. So in other words, we can say that AC is greater than AB also. AC is greater than AB. So here we find that AC is greater than BC and also we get AC is greater than AB. So from relation 1 and relation 2, we get that we can conclude that AC, AC is the longest side. So what we have proved here? We have proved that in our right angled triangle, the hypotenuse is the longest side. Hope the concept is clear to everyone. Now let's try to solve this problem. Here it is given that in a triangle ABC, angle A is 50 degree, angle B is 60 degree in measurement. And we have to arrange the sides of the triangle ABC in ascending order. Means from smaller to bigger. So here I have considered the triangle. ABC is the name because the name is given in the question. And A is 50 degree in measurement, angle A and angle B is 60 degree in measurement. But as we have to arrange all three sides of it, we must know the measurement of angle ACB, right? How will you get it? Yes, hope it's clear to everyone. As the sum of three angles of a triangle is always 180 degree. So from the summation of the three angles, if we subtract the summation of these two angles, obviously we are going to get the measurement of this one. Right? So let's try to get the measurement. So angle ACB is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree 
plus 60 degree. Why? As sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Okay? So, this will give us 70 degree. This is 110, 180 minus 110 will give you 70 degree. So, measurement of this angle is 70 degree. Therefore, arranging the sides in ascending order we get. What do we get? Look students, we know that if the angles are unequal in a triangle, then the side opposite to the greater angle is greater than the side opposite to the smaller angle. So here we find that the smallest angle out of these three angles is this one, angle CAB. So what is the side opposite to angle CAB? CB. So CB should be the smallest side. After 50 degree, just greater than 50 degree angle is 60 degree in this triangle. That is angle CBA. So which one, which side will, be, will come just after CB? Obviously CA. Why? Because 50 degree is less than 60 degree. So obviously CB will be less than CA. So here we get CB is less than CA. Now, the third one, the greatest one, we can find that the greatest angle is 70 degree in measurement. So obviously the side opposite to this angle will be the greatest side out of the three sides. So the greatest side here is AB. So here we get CB, CA and AB. These three sides will come in order if you arrange them in ascending order. So this is the answer. Hope it's clear to everyone. So in this video, we have learned that if two sides of a triangle are unequal, then the longer side has greater angle opposite to it. And if two angles of a triangle are unequal, then the greater angle has longer side opposite to it. That is the converse statement is also true here. Okay. And also we have seen how to apply this knowledge for solving different problems or proving other statement. Now, please watch this video. Try to solve the problems of this chapter. In my next video, I'll discuss about some other theorems, other very important theorems along with their proof. Till then, take care, stay safe. Thank you so much.